Hey there, fellow peeps there. We're doing sushi on the go today. And the thing is, sushi on the go, is uh, I got a friend that called me up and said, Hey, I seen your video. And I would like you, you, oh, don't forget to subscribe up there. And you can friend me down here or some something like that. I don't, I don't know. But anyhow, sushi on the go. Called me up. He said, uh, come on over to my house. I want to learn how to make sushi. Looks pretty easy. And today, we're going to show you how e easy it is. But, just to let you know, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, watch the video. Click on some things down here. There's some little white things. Make sure you click on them because that helps everything. Helps me make more videos. Stay tuned. Well, as you can see, we definitely... Uh, Got the sushi asake thing going on here. And uh, it's all good. We're all primed up. We're all ready to go. Because it's nothing like uh, learning how to make sushi if you don't got sake. It just doesn't work. We got some smoked salmon. We have some crab meat. We got some cucumber. We got some ginger, avocado. And uh, that's what we're going to be putting in our roll today so stay right with here us uh, yeah okay sake's kicking in but uh, that's all everything we're gonna be putting in a roll and it's all good to go we'll show you what's up then we're gonna make a special roll Yeehaw. oh oh that'd be Doug Doug Doug's the beginner sushi uh, maki uh, roller here but here we go we we have baked salmon skin and it's crispy and crunchy and this I tried this a few times before and this is the most best thing for like a little dynamite roll we'll show okay here we go we're gonna we're gonna add some rice to our roll just like we normally do and uh, this is Doug's uh, second roll he's ever done making sushi. I'm, I'm really not going to tell him what to do because he's seen it done once. Done it once himself. And this is his second roll. So he's a, he's applying a, a special a stick of rice. And uh, yeah, yeah, we've had a couple of sake in between. Every bite, uh, well, maybe ever half a bite. I don't know. There's been a few bottles drank, but uh, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, he's got enough rice here now. Now he's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, he's got enough rice here now. Now he's gonna, he's gonna pat it out. He's gonna wash his hands and wet them because his fingers are too sticky to do what he needs to do. So he's just gonna go uh, damp his hands and. Uh, Yeah, a couple of bachelors sit hanging out making making sushi. Yeah. And, and we do sushi to go. Just to let you know. Like we're willing to come to your house and uh, do sushi to go. <laughs> Never mind. So he's gonna try and get the rice all the way down to the corners and the edges as much as he can. And within about an inch from the top, and he's doing pretty good. So, our next step is here, we're going to sprinkle some sesame seed over top of our rice that we, we've we laid out. And we're going to just kind of pat, pat the seeds down a little bit. Because we're going to do a reverse roll. Thing. Okay, so let's see, we'll pat it down a little bit. And then, we'll, and then we'll be good to go and we'll be good to flip. So once he's patted it down there, he'll step back for a sec. And then... Okay, now that we got uh, our sesame seeds on and our roll, we're going to flip it. And Doug's going to flip it there right now. Second time he's ever done a, a sushi roll and he's doing a backwards uh, inside out sushi roll. And he's putting his mayo down. 
And you usually put it down like the middle of your, your rice pad, wherever you laid your rice. So now we got some avocado happening. And he's putting it on one side, usually the top side of your mail strip. Now he's... Uh, threw the other piece on the floor. Oh yeah, threw the other piece on the floor. So he's, he's cutting a new piece. See, cutting at it, it just ain't happening. Oh, look at this. Something new. Totally different. Some bean sprouts. We're just putting a little layer. That's just good right there. Little layer of bean sprouts. Then we got uh, some slabs. Some little slabs of cucumber in the center on the other side. And then we have some smoked salmon next. Right on top. We have some smoked salmon right on top, coming after the cucumber there. Trimmed to fit. Oh, trimmed to fit to boot. Right on, yeah. Just to let you know, a couple of bachelors doing sushi rolls is not too bad of a deal. Very Perfection. good, very good. And now we got crab meat right beside our, uh, our uh, salmon. And that's, that's going to be our, our roll, our inside out roll. Okay, well, so now we're going we're gonna to roll that. And Doug's tightening up and cinching down, just like uh, a West Coast lager. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we, it's a good thing that we're not advertising coconut or anything, but... Uh, when I, yeah, turn the label. Good thing, good thing. Yeah, that's actually a, a Sprite can there. Good thing, yeah. So, he's he's actually uh, one of the best people I've taught about learning how to roll sushi. Uh, oh, I think I, I think I hear a lonely call, uh, where the suck are we, birds? Cut. It's yeah. It's stuck to the... Suck there we go. Okay, so we're just uh, tightening our roll here, or our reverse roll. And uh, this is only Doug's second roll he's ever done in his entire life. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Inside out roll. Done perfect. I should. I, Oh, sake, 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 sake. Let's have a look at that roll real close. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a, that deserves another sake. 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 Fade to black. Saki! Saki, here we go. We're sucking up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut our roll now. And normally we cut it up at least, you know, a half inch, three quarters of an inch. And it's a reverse roll. The, remember, this is Doug's like second roll he's ever made in his life. And he's doing a reverse roll, which has uh, smoked salmon, avocado, crab meat, cucumber, and actually sprouts in it. And it's a reverse roll, sesame seeds on the outside. And uh, it's looking pretty good. It's actually looking pretty good. He's going to have to wash his knife here the next time because it's taking a while to get through that one. <laughs> I just got a, I just got a redneck smart ass look. Saki! Saki! But it's not bad for, uh, for our, uh, beginner roles. And that's what it's all about, is, uh, having fun. Oh, apparently, apparently this is avocado. That's what I've been told, anyways. Oh, look at that. That was like a perfect cut. Let's have a look, a look at that piece of sushi. He just made that all by himself. I can't believe it. I'm totally impressed. That's 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 wicked. That's an inside out roll. I don't know the proper name for it, but that's pretty...
and we're plating uh, some fresh sushi on a plate by somebody that's only made sushi for his first time and his second roll as we speak. And that looks pretty damn like professional to me. Like, come on. Saki. Oh, Saki. Oh, shit. Saki. 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 Well, we're only on our fourth bottle right now. I mean, whoops, I wasn't supposed to say fourth. Uh, second bottle, second bottle. We're only on our second bottle right now. Second bottle. We're only on our second bottle right now. Cutting through our third sushi roll. And this is his second sushi roll. And then we have a, an upcoming treat of a salmon dynamite sushi roll. Which... Okay. We're, we're finally... We're finally cutting the last uh, end roll of the reverse roll. And uh, Doug did an awesome job. Check it out. Like, look at look at this. Like, look at this. This is the second roll he ever made. Look at that. That's awesome, eh? J Doug, what do you got to say about that? What do you got to say about that? Sake! Sake! All right, buddy. Okay, we'll stop. And we're going to put it in the middle of our sushi roll. This is like the most dynamite roll I've ever had. And we're going to load it up. Some big, crunchy salmon skin. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to put our mayo on there. We're going to put it on after. Normally, some people put it wherever.